So your book, The Hollywood Game Plan, mm -hmm. okay. so you've written a lot of things on uh, you know, how people can kind of get their foot in the door, mm -hmm. thank you notes, and mm -hmm. useful information. I want to talk about this uh, over 40 population. Right. Maybe they're new to the industry. They've right. come here from somewhere else or another right. line of work. Right. Let's talk about do those same rules apply and what is working for a person over 40, what is working against them? How to fight that? That is a good question. Um, ageism totally exists in this business. To say it doesn't would be to say a lie. However, the way you can protect yourself against it is with your material. There's two things. One is having great material that's undeniable. People don't care if it's, again, I'm thinking about screenwriters, let's say. If it's on the page, it doesn't matter. If the other thing is to stay contemporary. If you don't know what Reddit is or what LinkedIn or I can't imagine anybody doesn't know what Twitter is. But if you don't know what's happening, then that ages you. Um, I've told a lot of writers who are over 40, make a web series. Show that you know what's going on and show and it's a way to make you undeniable. Also, there's a lot of people, ageism is there, but there's a lot of people that say, we're looking for somebody who has some life experience. I'm not looking for somebody who just got out of USC, who made three student films, has had no life, and has only consumed entertainment, and doesn't have any life experience. So I don't believe that I think the only person that is going to get in the way is you if you're thinking I'm too old. If your material is there, if you're contemporary with what's going on in the business and the trends in the society, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Right. So then look at the headlines, research what companies are doing well, what's the latest social media uh, you know, app or, or you know, because for me, like Snapchat, I'm still learning all yes. about it. I don't really know, and I feel like that dates me, you know, yes. because so many people that are under 25, they're all about Snapchat, right? And so there's a demographic, there's a population that I don't know about, that I don't know how to work it, and, and all the things that are part of it. Let's say somebody wants to get even just a, an entry level, a mailroom position, or administrative assistant, or receptionist. Being 40, it's that's hard. going to be tougher. It's going to be tougher. I know one guy who was a lawyer, but all he wanted to do was be a writer. And he ended up getting a job as the assistant to the showrunner on SVU. And he did that for two years. He was the most overqualified assistant that ever existed. <laughs> and like then it. he got a job as a staff writer. Hmm. And he was in his 40s. Um, it is very hard to get a entry-level job. What I recommend that people do is somebody just emailed me and said, what can I do? I want to be an executive. I'm 48. And I said, be a producer first. Have a body of work under your belt. Come in with material. Come in showing that you can produce work. Um, but I think it's really hard unless you've been a professional um, administrative assistant to get a job as an administrative assistant when you're over 40. It's not impossible because some people don't care, but it's more challenging. It's definitely more challenging. Well, not to advocate lying on a resume, but do you leave off? Let's suppose, oh, I have so much work experience to show them they're definitely going to want to hire me. Maybe that works against you? It does work against you. Don't go back more than 10 years. I definitely tell my clients, they don't need to see anything from 2002. Absolutely <laughs> not. Okay. And what I also tell my clients is tell me how old you really are. And then if they're over a certain age, I say don't tell anybody else. Interesting. Even Absolutely. if they get to know coworkers? Sorry. Even, Even if, if they get to know, if you get to know coworkers and you're close, you can. But actually, I keep it pretty close to the vest. Interesting. Wow. Yes, I've known people for years. I have no idea what their age is. I never ask. Right. But then some people are much more free. You think right. being free with it hurts you? I wouldn't be free with it. If you are older than most of the people you're working with, 
I wouldn't sling that around. No. Yeah. I would. I just wouldn't make a deal of it. Right. Okay. 